Okay. I really can't see what is going on, but I believe there is a small delay of 20 seconds between what I'm saying and how it's appearing on my Facebook feed. So let's see, there it goes. Okay, so apparently it's there. I think you guys can see me and hear me, apparently. So I'm gonna attempt to do some um, edits on a Wikipedia page for the Washington State Congressman, Matt Shea. And I wasn't really aware of who this person was. Or, I mean, I think I vaguely knew who he was, but that's really not what's important because um, I was I was looking at um, Friendly, Athe Friendly Atheist blog today, uh, him at Meta, and uh, this is one of the stories. We like to use him at, because he's got some really interesting <laughs> takes on things. And, um, it's just kind of fun. A lot of a lot of uh, interesting um, uh, stories he comes up with that kind of make me go whoa. So I'm going to attempt to stream this live. And if you have comments, you can put them in the uh, Facebook um, chat thing you know make comments on there I won't be seeing them for a while because I can't really do both at the same time even though I have dual monitors I have one here and one there so here we go I'm going to share my screen and this is the process that we're going to be doing pretty much whenever we do the um, um, when we do the live the live uh, presentations coming up in starting on Friday with Rob Palmer, the well-known skeptic who's going to be talking about psychics and psychic frauds, who's to blame. And we're going to try to do where um, I'm using Zoom and we'll bring Rob into the conversation. He'll give a presentation. We can do Q&A. And if you're in the Zoom room, which I'm not giving you guys right now a, a, a link to the Zoom room because I, I'm just going to be doing some editing just by myself. But on Friday, you'll be able to get into the Zoom room and you'll be able to uh, listen to the presentation there in Zoom and ask questions or you can stay and watch on Facebook and be able to ask questions. So anyway, this is Matt Shea and he is a House of Representatives, State Representative for the state of Washington, and he has had a very interesting um, history. I believe he's not running again for office, but there's been some interesting things he's done. He seems to be extremely, um, extremely uh, conservative and, and so on. So you guys can read about this later when you get a chance, but here's where I'm concerned. So there's an oil on capital steps section of his Wikipedia page. And it says in May, 2020, Shea was fined $4,761.34 for damaging historic masonry by intentionally leaving a trail of slick olive oil on the steps of the Capitol. Citation. According to a Department of Enterprise Services report, the oil steam is about 100 feet long and ran from the street up to the building's marble steps and along its base to its entry. The incident occurred on the same day as a demonstration by the Satanic Temple of Washington and Shea sought to cleanse the ground, period, in quote. Okay, so what I wanna do is the, this citation here after this first sentence makes it sound like that these, this other sentence is not cited. It, it doesn't look like it has a citation for it. So we need, to, we need to look at the citation, 47, and make sure it says what is on here. And if so, then we need to move the citation to the end of the sentence here. Because what we need to do is show that, that it's inclusive. You don't put the citation after every sentence. You only put it after, uh, at the end of whatever paragraph you're doing. So like if for example, so 47, if whatever is used for 47 is um, interrupted. So let's say this, this citation number 47 includes this amount of $4,761.34. 
but we use a different citation to show that the oil stain was about 100 feet long and ran from the street up the building's mar marble steps. Then we need to put the citation for that, a different citation here. So it would be citation number 48 probably. And so we're going to double check that. Now, if I go down to 47, it's right here. Now, I've already opened this up. I'm going to open it up again. But what I want to show you is this is not cited correctly. See how there's no, uh, it's just a URL. Um, here, for example, this one right next to it has a date. It has the name of the author of, of whatever article it was used. It says where it was published. Um, it has been archived and so on. See, that's how most citations look. So whoever put this citation in is either did it in an extreme hurry or they are not an experienced editor. So one of the first few things I've done uh, before you got here, so it wouldn't take forever, is I wanted to look on the talk page, see this button up here on the left that you probably never noticed before. And I went through this. Uh, this is the conversation that Wikipedia editors have with each other. I just want to make sure there hadn't been some controversy about somebody trying to update that oil slick uh, fine um, oil page oil citation and that it was taken off and there was some kind of back and forth and there's nothing there I was already looking at it usually it would be at the very bottom because it's a very recent thing so I looked there to make sure that there was no real serious problem with me adding a citation or fixing the citation and then I also went over to the view history tab which is the where you can publicly see everything that's ever done on Wikipedia and these are all the different editors who have edited the Wikipedia page and the day they edit it. And there's been a couple on May 16th, which would be today. Somebody has, has updated this a little bit. These numbers here in green mean they've added something to the Wikipedia page. That's how many characters were added, 285. And this shows you this had four characters removed. Um, and this also tells us, like we, I can mouse over this and, um, here, the person removed four characters, and what they removed, if you can see, it says Mr. Shea was fine. So what they removed is a capital M, lowercase r, a period, and a space. Because we don't use, like, Dr., Mr., Ms. We don't use those kinds of things in Wikipedia. So <laughs> this editor, whose name is Pluma, who I could look and see more about this person if I wanted to. I don't know who it is. It says Wikipedia typically doesn't tip Wikipedia typically doesn't typically include tile me thinks. So I'm gonna just give that guy a thank because that's that's one of my pet peeves is whenever I see that. When people put things like doctor and and you know DR or PhD or or whatever on a Wikipedia page, it's kind of like the argument from from authority. In other words, I'm trying to influence somebody by saying this person has a PhD or this person has a medical degree. Um, this is a, he's Mr. So-and-so. So it's, it's, it's one of my things that it bugs me. Okay, so I don't see anything on here that lo would look like any problem with me adding this edit. It looks pretty uh, normal, nothing extremely exciting going on there. So let's go back to the read. Okay, here we're going to go back to the page. So what I want to do first is open up this article. This is, um, it looks like the Seattle Times. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say link, open link in a new tab. Otherwise it would just replace the Wikipedia page I'm working on. So if I open this up, um, I can see that there is, there are some photographs of what happened. Um, and then here's the people cleaning the steps. Now, this might be really interesting to put these pictures on the Wikipedia page, but I can't. So Wikipedia has very strong rules for photography, and it does not allow people to, to add photographs or video or audio to a Wikipedia page unless there's been ex explicit permission by the person who owns the photograph. So whoever took that photograph would have to upload it to Wikimedia Commons, and then we can turn around and add it to the Wikipedia page. So if somebody we know in our community has was at that event and took pictures of this, then they could upload those for ourselves. And I want you guys to out there in, in Facebook land, um, you know, remember that you guys can be reporters of sorts on your own. So when something, um, you probably have tons of photographs that you may or may not think are really relevant to, uh, to 
uh, something might somebody want to have well I promise you that there's a very good chance that we may want that picture so if you have photos in some time and you would like to benefit Wikipedia I'd be happy to show you how to upload photographs and video and audio so that we can use it for Wikipedia pages but in this example here's a picture somebody's taken you can see the oil look at that coming down the steps and they had to have workers out there to clean that off that's that's not okay but again I can't put that on Wikipedia also I can't put my own personal opinion I am not able to do primary research I can't say I watched the video and you can clearly see um, this oil stain coming down. No, I can't do that. I can only report what this citation is, is giving me. And I need to use reputable citations. And this is the Seattle Times, which is a notable um, source. It's a secondary source. It's independent from the target. The target is Matt Shea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cite this thing correctly. And so this just came out May 14th. That must be why we've seen it added to the Wikipedia page. So the first thing I wanted to do, remember, was I wanted to see if the article in question we're looking at does mention that the oil stain was about 100 feet long, according to Department of Enterprise Services report, uh, running on the marble steps along its base to the entry. And it occurred on the same day as the demonstration by the Satanic Temple of Washington and Shea sought to cleanse the ground. So they're quoting this, cleanse the ground. So that phrase, those three words need to be in this article that we're looking at. The easiest way to do that is to read it, obviously, or I can use a, 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 a find feature, you know, where you can go, G-R-O-U-N-D. My, my <laughs> my uh, uh, screen share little thing up there is covering up the find feature. So Shay did not respond to requests for comment. He wrote on Facebook that he had cleansed the ground after the satanic demonstration, cleaned the ground. So that is totally, that's a different word than cleansed the ground. So if we're gonna quote, we need to quote it correctly. So that obviously is incorrect. But up here you'll see it says one of two. So maybe it's on here somewhere else. We prayed, claimed, and cleaned the ground and evangelicized, showing the radical love of God. So already I can tell that this citation is not correct because they used cleanse the ground and they quoted him. And that's not what he said. And we need to be accurate when you're quoting somebody. Okay, going back over here, do we have anywhere where they mentioned that there's 100 feet? Let's, let's do 100. Let's type in the word 100 in about find you know, in the find feature. And it says, another video shows the damage, a stain about 100 feet long, according to the to a DES incident report um, that runs from the street of the building's marble steps and along its base to the entry. Okay, it says special care needs to be, so this says this, this is correct. But they've almost um, exactly quoted this article. And that's not okay because you can't quote this article unless you use quote, you know, quotes because you're taking this reporter's words and you're just putting them into Wikipedia and as if it's yours. And here's, I don't know who the reporter is on this. May, yeah, I don't see who the reporter of, oh, here it is, David Gutman and Joseph O'Sullivan. So the person who put this in the Wikipedia article um, pretty much plagiarized these two um, reporters. Again, I think that this is not malice. I think it's just ignorance of how Wikipedia works. Somebody rushing to to put a, a citation on the Wikipedia page and not really thinking that anybody would come along and check, let alone do a live video and <laughs> and and talk about it. But these are the kind of things that we we teach in GSOW training that you need to do this correctly. Okay, what I have found is that citation 47 can go right here at the end, right here, because it does say all these things in here, but we do need to change this word, word, verbiage here, or quote it, and we need to change this to cleaned the ground, even though that wouldn't be grammatically correct, but that's what the quote says. Um, or we can remove the quotes and we could just say it in our own words. So it's okay for Wikipedia editors to say it in their own words with their typing as long as you're not making 
uh, claims or using primary research or you know putting your opinion in there as well another thing I wanted to check is see if it says the satanic temple of Washington is actually linking correctly to the Wikipedia page for the satanic temple and it appears to be doing the article um, let's also double check that that is the correct amount that and it's mentioned in the Wiki, in the Seattle Times and also that it was May 2020 so let's see um, if they did I'm going to use the find alt fine and put the number for the uh, the fine darn it let me just I wish I could pull this darn thing down let me maybe if I move this off to the side okay there you go all right so yeah that's the problem I had 100 in there so yes that amount is mentioned in here and the reason why I was concerned is because appearance is nearly five thousand dollars so if if this Seattle Times article said five thousand dollars nearly five thousand dollars and it never mentioned this four thousand seven hundred and sixty one dollars and thirty four cents then I would not be able to use it in the Wikipedia page because it is not the content is not in here I know this is getting really kind of grain grand granular so it says the damage occurred March 6th of 2020 this article is printed in May of 2020 so yeah March 6th and the Wikipedia article says in May oh he was fined it in May because the incident happened on in Mar on March 6th so if we wanted to we could say on March 6th as a demonstration okay I could do that uh, let's see it does it say that um, he was fined it in May um, is being billed this amount for damage well I guess it would have to be May because this is May <laughs> that's why we don't know what day exactly he was fined that amount I'd love to be able to put this video of him walking along carrying a bottle of olive oil surveillance see there's his olive oil and there's other look at these people here okay there he goes with his olive oil he's gonna go cleanse the steps so <laughs> So here's a really great quote. Tarkas Claypool, a spokesman for the Satanic Temple of Washington, said he didn't notice any conflict with Shea during the demonstration. We just focused on what we were doing. It's going to take a lot more than Matt Shea and his bottled salad dressing to stop us from exercising our First Amendment rights. So that's a nice, I like that quote. So what I teach my people, whatever they're editing Wikipedia, is to, to put it all in, just add it to the article. And and if there's a problem with it, somebody will come along and they will cut it back and they will take things out and they will, you know, take take some of that out of there. It's better to add more because it's very unlikely that somebody like myself is going to come along and and uh, and look through the sources again and add more. It's just not something that is commonly done. So usually once the once it exists on on Wikipedia it's either reverted but it's hardly ever somebody opens up the thing again and tries to add more so maybe we should put that opinion in here because that's a quote in the article and it sounds really good I mean I like the way it sounds and yeah of course I am being kind of cited but that's just the way it is right okay um, bottle of salad dressing stop us from exercising our First Amendment's rights okay and then it talks about the stain special care must be used who's Kent Kent said um, I could use control control F again and find out who Kent is Linda Kent she is the spokeswoman for the Department of Enterprises okay the DES so let's go in and fix this all right so we've kind of done our due diligence we've looked at the citation we've looked at um, the article we've we've l let's see what we need to do so I'm gonna hit edit um, oh real quick before I do that I want to show you 
oops, I hit the, how'd I hit that? How'd I do that? On Wikipedia, there's lots of little edits. See how it says edit, here it says edit, here it says edit, here it says edit. If I was to click on these, I'd be able to edit that section. That's all it would show me. This is something we reserve for people who know what they're doing, people who are experienced editors who want to come in and they want to make a quick edit to the Wikipedia page and they have enough skill to be able to, to, to follow what they're doing. So I would be able to click this and just go ahead and add this in here. But I teach all my people to, uh, until they feel like they're experienced enough to do so, to use the edit at the top of the button of the page. And then now I'm gonna have the entire page in front of me. And yeah, that is kind of intimidating, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my friend, Alt-F again, which is how we use, we use this all the time, as you can see, to find things in the article. So I can't search for Citation 47 because there is no such thing as Citation 47 on the edit screen. I'm gonna look for, and I can't search for David Gutman because the person didn't put that in there um, correctly. So let's search for, let's go back. Let's search for oil, there you go, and see how it comes down to, to oil on the capital steps. So um, another thing that many people don't know is that you cannot capitalize the O and on or the S and steps. That's not correct form for Wikipedia. Only words like capital would be, or the first letter of the, of the sentence. See like in here it says personal life, L in, uh, in life is not capitalized. There's all these things that you learn. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get the citation moved to the end of the of the article, right? Because it, it that's where it should be. So here's the citation. Do you see how it has this little REF right here? See that? That's the beginning of the citation. The I don't even know what these are called. These little bracket things that are triangles on their side. LEF, REF. And then the end of it is going to be an REF with a forward slash in there. So that's the beginning and ending of that citation. Now I'm going to remove it because it's not right. They just put a URL in there. We're not, that's not how we're, we're taught how to edit correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right here. All right. So the citation is going to be in there correctly, but let's fix a couple things that we noticed. Like we know that it was sought to cleanse the ground. Okay. And we wanted to word this a little differently. So we're not taking these people's words. Um, in May, 2020, Shea was fined this amount for damaging historic, historic masonry by intentionally, intentionally leaving a trail of slick olive oil on the steps of the Capitol. Hey, maybe we should hyperlink to olive oil. I don't know, is, is, that, is that something that um, we might wanna do? I like to have citations to things that maybe people wouldn't be f familiar with. Maybe people don't know enough about with olive oil to know if it's a, if it's a caustic, ca what's it called? Um, if it's a problem or, or something. So I'm gonna go to the Wikipedia page for olive oil. And there is a Wikipedia page for olive oil. And it is called olive oil, and it has the O in, in um, lowercase and the, uh, and the capital O. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to put brackets around here, um, those brackets and this bracket right here. And what that should do is it should hyperlink to the Wikipedia page for olive oil. Let's see if it does. Let's see if I did that right. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit preview, which is just showing you a preview of if, if it's working or not. And I'm going to come back down and you will see the word olive oil. See how the phrase olive oil has a um, hyperlink there and it's going to olive oil. In, and they have it set up so that we don't have to capitalize the olive in olive oil. So that's cool. So that's kind of interesting. So I could save that site. I could save right here and I've just made an improvement to the page, but I'm not going to save right now. It is kind of confusing for people to do this because um, to edit because this is a window of edit that's open. And then if you look up here, this is a whole different window of what the Wikipedia page looks like as I'm editing. When you're doing a live edit like I'm doing, that means other people could be editing at the moment that I'm editing. So there could be an edit conflict. So what we try to tell people to do is if you're gonna make an edit of this source, 
especially on a page that's been getting edits, you know, it's kind of popular, make your edit and get the heck out of there because you may end up having edit conflicts with totally independent editors. So let's see if I can get this done a little faster. Okay, so we hyperlinked to olive oil. According to a Department of Enterprise Services report, or the person, the oil stain was about 100 feet long and ran from the steps up the marble building's marble steps along its base to the entry. I don't think that's all that important. I don't think we need to have all that information in there. It seems like it's just unnecessary trivial trivia. So um, it ran and ran from the street. It didn't run from the street. It ran to the street. About 100 feet long. I don't even know if I even want that in there. The oil stain was about 100 feet long. Let's just take this whole thing out of there because, I mean, why is that important? Oops, extra period. The incident occurred on, we know, March 6th, 2020, the same day as a demonstration by the Satanic Temple of Washington, and Shea sought to clean, and, Sh and Shea sought to cleanse the ground. Okay, let me think, how should I word that? Because I wanted to say cleaned the ground, if I'm going to have quotes. I could say, Shay said he cleaned. Well, let me look over here on Facebook and see if anybody's got this brilliant idea of what they, of they thinking I'm saying, should say, if anybody's watching at all. Sought to cleanse the ground. Ooh, interesting. Hello, Maine. Hello. Hello. Hello there from Howdy from Melbourne, Australia. Hello, Hemet. Hemet's there. Ooh, hi, Hemet. So we're going to be using it in a few minutes, if you bear with me. All right. How should I say this? The incident occurred on March 6, 2020, the same day as the demonstration by the Satanic Temple. See how it says... It has, this is the Wikipedia page is the Satanic Temple. This is the, what we want it to say, the Satanic Temple of Washington. That's a trick they use with hyperlinking. And Shea sought to cleanse the ground. How about we remove this completely? Shea stated he, um, needed to clean the ground after the satanic pro was it a protest demonstration ritual should that be a capital r for ritual because was that like a a service like a like a I don't know I, I don't think I'm gonna capitalize it let's see if, if somebody says that they think it's a better idea that I capitalize the set the R and ritual then I'll do it. okay the same day as a de demonstration by the satanic temple of Washington and Shea stated he needed to clean the ground after the satanic ritual okay so let's add the citation in you guys ready all right so don't freak out so I'm gonna hit cite oops it was already there. Template, I'm gonna cite a website. Now I can cite a book, I can cite a newspaper, I can cite all kinds of things. So I'm gonna move this, well, I'm trying to show you guys. So I'm gonna use David Gutman, G-U-T-M-A-N. That's gonna where I'm gonna start. So his name is G-U-T-M-A-N, David. And the title of this article is this. Let's go back and put that in, oops, title. Here, and let's go grab the URL. And URL, website name. The website name is seattletimes.com. The 
the publisher is the Seattle Times, right? The Seattle Times or Seattle, the Seattle Times, okay. Okay, the access date is the date that we accessed that um, article. So that's today. So I just push this little button and inserts the current date. The reference name, this is used if you want to use this exact same citation on multiple places um, in the same article. So I'm gonna write Gutman 2020. And that's gonna be the, the, the way I use it, um, like call it. And I could, I could write anything. I could write Donald Duck in here. I could write Fu Manchu, sneeze, smiley face, whatever I wanted. I could put anything in there. I'm gonna open this up a little further. Now, if I was using a um, um, something else, I would probably put it in here, like a, I could put a quote. And this might be a great place to put that little quote. Hey, let's put the quote over here. <laughs> So come down here and where was it we found that? Remember you guys? Um, from that person. Here it is, Claypool. Let's just take this, boom, like this. I mean, I could take this, this is pretty, no, let's just do this, this is fun. Okay, I'm gonna take that quote, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna quote it. It's just quoting it. And then I wanna do something. Now, if you have been in my sphere for long enough, you will find out that I archive everything. And that's because we don't want to have a psychic or something say that they predicted the pandemic and you look on their website and it sure does look like they predicted the pandemic. What we want to do is be able to hold them to it. We need evidence for that. So up here I have something called the Wayback Machine. And so I'm going to click on this and what it will do is it's going to archive this article that I'm looking at right now. So if this article disappears, you know, then we know we have it. So just in case it disappears. So we archive everything. That way we can look back and see if, if a website has changed or if uh, a psychic had um, changed their website like the day of the pandemic and said that they, you know, <laughs> not before. So now this is the archive link, webarchive.com. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put it down here. So in case the article disappears somewhere. Um, let's say the article just um, changes or goes out of business or something like that. We want to keep it. So I'm also going to put over here the archive date. There's a second author. I am not as comfortable using this as other people. So let me see. Well, if we mess up, you know, we're all friends here, right? Joseph O'Sullivan. We do a lot of copy and paste and find, I tell you. So now I'm going to put that right there. It doesn't have a comma or anything like it does up here. So let's see if that works right. If it doesn't, I'm going to take it out. I just would like to give him credit for, for this if, if I can. Okay, so I can preview this. Here's what it looks like and that's scary. Ah, more than one of authors and last names specify that looks like it's a problem. Author, author's article. Oh, here's where it goes. Kerpik, you should know these things. Why don't you know these things? I click on this darn X and it tells me. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. His last name is that. And his first name is this. I don't know everything, you guys, all right? So you're seeing just in real life that I am just, even though it's been, um, like 12 years that I've been editing Wikipedia. <laughs> so here's the here's what it's going to look like. It's got the name of the author and the other author, Spokane area, and it's hyperlinked so that it'll go to it. SeattleTimes.com, Seattle Times archive from the original on May 12, 17th, 2020, retrieved on May 17th, 2020. Here's the little note I put. 
And how come there's no date? Oh, here's a date. So the date is May 14th, 2020. Now let's see if I did that right. Preview again. Yep, May 14th, 2020. So this is what the citation should look like done correctly. So I'm gonna hit insert. And now it's an awful lot of text there and don't get freaked out, it's all there. Um, if, remember how I said it, it's, it's like, it's got ref, see? There it is, it's the beginning of the quote and the end of the quote is right there with a little slash forward slash. Now I'm going to save this because I want to add the him at meta article. And so I want to do this in one and then the other, because as I said, I'm doing a live edit. So I need to tell it, why am I making this edit? I'm making this edit because I'm um, correcting the Seattle times um, article and citation because it wasn't cited correctly and as we said we had some problems with it i'm going to hit show preview just to make sure there's no error there should be nothing in red if it did if there's red then i did something wrong so it's not much longer remember i i cut back a whole lot of it too he was fined for damaging historic masonry by intentionally leaving a trail of slick oil olive oil remember we hyperlinked to olive oil just in case if somebody doesn't know what olive oil is on the steps of the Capitol, according to Department of Enterprise Service Report, the oil stain is about 100 feet long. The incident occurred on March 6, 2020, the same day as the demonstration by the Satanic Temple of Washington, and Shea stated he needed to clean the ground after the Satanic, satanic Ritual. Citation 47, if we look at it, here it is. So we have the, the two different authors, the date, here's a hyperlink to the article, seattletimes.com, Seattle Times, archive from the original. So in other words, if this link was to break, we would, somebody could come over here and they could find it on the Wayback Machine. And then here's that quote I put, Tarkas Claypool, a spokesman for the Satanic Temple of Washington said he didn't notice any conflict with Shea during the demonstration. We just focused on what we were doing, Claypool said. It's going to take a lot more than Matt Shea and his bottle of salad dressing to stop us from exercising our First Amendment rights. So I put that here because it gets a little like I'm attacking the guy if I was to put that right in here. And I, I could, but this person, Clay, Tarkas Claypool, I don't think is a notable person. I don't think they have a Wikipedia page. So I'm not so excited about putting that quote in there, but I'm gonna show you something in a minute now. Okay, let's, let's publish changes and hope that nobody else is, is doing this. So if we did this correctly, I didn't have any edit conflicts, so I assume that there's nobody else out there who's trying to edit this. If we look at the view history, you're gonna see that somebody by the name of S. Gerbic has just added 890 characters, correcting the title. Um, so if somebody didn't like what I did, and they had some valid reason why they didn't like what I did, they could hit undo and it would just completely remove it. So, um, I don't think that's likely to happen. I think we did a pretty good job. So if we look at previous, you can see in green, it's showing you what I added and then the blue, the, the pinky orangey color is what I removed. So far so good, now let's bring in Hemet. Okay, now this article popped up in my email. I've been getting the Friendly Atheist uh, for a very long time. I find it really interesting. It usually shows up on my inbox about noon every day. He does a really damn good job, you guys. If you if you want to throw him some extra bucks, buy his book and, you know, help share his, his posts, that would be a worthy thing because people like him and aren't making a lot of money off of this. This is, this is, this is a, a service he's doing and I think that it's, we should appreciate it. One way we show our appreciation in GSOW for the work that somebody like him it does is by including him in the Wikipedia article in the hopes that he will receive more attention from the media who might be looking for um, someone to interview or uh, just bring him to people's attention plus the article that they can click on. So that's what we do. So this was, this is May 15th. In this article, it basically refers to the same things that we had um, 
you know, the olive oil and the amount of money. And, but if you notice when you read this article, which I hope you do, there is a quote from Lucien Greaves, who is the leader of the Satanic Temple. And he was there at that day, I believe. So Lucien Greaves is notable, which is a fancy way of saying he has a Wikipedia page. So I'm going to go over here, put that in. And he has a Wikipedia page. It's awful short. Boy, does this need some work. We need to improve this a lot. But there is a Wikipedia page for him. Oh, there he is. So because he has a Wikipedia page and because he's speaking about what he is notable for, I mean, he's notable for his uh, work in the Satanic Temple and for doing protests like this. And, and um, I mean, I couldn't quote Lucien for an article about homeopathy or about <laughs> UFOs, but because it's, it's in his area, I can actually use the quote. And another thing I can, reason why I can quote, um, use the article by Hemet is because Hemet actually has a Wikipedia page too. There you go. I misspelled this name all the time. I'm so sorry, Hemet, that I have so much trouble spelling your name. So here's Hemet's uh, Wikipedia page. Uh, this is a Wikipedia page that the GSOW project wrote years ago. Look how nice that is compared to most other people. But because Hemet is notable, I can use his opinion as long as, is, as it's on his on the subject at hand and not again not i can't really quote him at on um, maybe i could quote him a little bit more than some people because he is notable as a skeptic not just as the friendly atheist but I, he would not be my first go-to source on ufo videos or covid19 um, or free energy machines <laughs> all right so with that said Hemet and Lucian are both notable people that I can quote. So Hemet wrote to Lucian and asked him to, you know, for a quote. And this is what Lucian said. And he, I, I don't want to add this entire whole quote because it's just going to be too long and it's going to be too much weight to the Matt um, article. It's going to give way too much to it and make it look like um, we have, um, uh, how do I say it? Like we're trying to really insert our opinion in there in a, in a bad way. So I want to be able to put it in here. Where am I at? Let's get rid of that Spokane area one that's gone. So I need to choose carefully. So Lucian has some great quotes in here. He says he should at least temporarily be denied access to sharp objects and his own bank account pending further evaluation. Now, that's not my opinion. That's Lucian's opinion. So <laughs> if he is so offended by a First Amendment guarantees that he finds it impossible to accept public relations expressions that do except public re religious expression that does not align with his own, then I hope the people of Washington will demand his immediate resignation. That's a tight quote. Um, it is not an attack on his person. Um, you know, he's not calling him fat or using pejoratives or anything like that. It's a nice, clean quote by Lucian, and I think that that might be a quote I would use. This is America, Mr. Shea, love it or leave it. I mean, that's clever, but I don't know if I want to use that. So I'm going to use this in the article. And then down here, um, this is Hemet. He's right about the demand. There's no reason anyone like Shea should be in politics. He's a disgrace to a party that already recruits its lawmakers from the bottom of the barrel. If he cared about Washington more than himself, he would have resigned a long time ago. It's not too late. So what do I want to do? Uh, according to Hemet Mehta, 
he states, according to him at Meta, there's no reason, um, let me think. This is always my, where I fumble the most, just getting the words right, which is great about Wikipedia because if it isn't great, somebody else could come in and, and fix it, right? They could change it and make it to what it should be. I, I have no problem with people coming in and kind of manipulating my words because I'm not the best writer. So let me think, how should I say it? Um, how about we say, questioning Shay's politics Hema Meta I don't think I want to put this about he recruits his lawmakers from the bottom of the barrel. I don't want to put it right there at least. If he cared about Washington more than himself, he would have resigned a long time ago. Or how about, there's no reason anyone like Shea should be in politics. Okay, so let's start. Go back to, um, I'm going to refresh this just in case somebody else has tried to edit. Let's go back to edit. Let's go down to the oil controversy part. So this is going to go right here, space, and then I'm going to put something right here. All right. So this is my go-to, according to, to um, of the, 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 I have to capitalize church, right? No, temple. L U, I don't know how to spell this. Oh, yeah, there it is. L U C I E N G R E A V E S. These hyperlinks will, these little, I'm pointing to it on the screen as if you can see me. The, <laughs> these little lines right here and these little lines here will hyperlink it to uh, the Wikipedia article. According to the leader of the Satanic Temple, Lucian Graves, I don't know if this would be a comma there, but I'm going to put a comma there. He said this. Quote. And then, I don't want to call him and a blogger or a writer. I'm just going to use Am I spelling it right? I have a feeling I'm spelling it wrong. You know, I've spelled it right. I've spelled it wrong so many times that whenever I look at it, it it just doesn't M E H T A. M E H T A. M E H T A. I apologize. As long as I fix it. And I know it's he man. Sign up. He man. <laughs> Hemet Metta. I don't want to put according to him at Metta. Agrees with Grieve G R E A V E S and adds. What is Hemet add? So Hemet, you better, if you're listening to this, you better remember that when you write your articles, write them so that I can use them on Wikipedia. Make sure it's really nice and clear. If he cared about Washington more than himself, he would have resigned a long time ago. It's not too late. All right, let's do that. And adds, quote, okay, quote. Now I'm going to put the citation right here. See how fast that was, you guys? You know, it really wasn't that long. 
I mean, I was able to get that, whip that out pretty quick. Okay, M E H T A. Damn it. M E H T A. <laughs> M E H T A. Okay, there it is. The access date is today. The website name. Here's the friendly atheist. Pathos, or maybe I would just put Pathos, P A T H E O S. Yeah, I would put it here P A T H E O S is the publisher. The website name is Is it the friendly atheist or just friendly atheist? Just friendly atheist. Here's the um, URL of the title. And here's the, uh, looks like I've got an awful lot of extra stuff here. I have a feeling that's just garbage. Let me see. I'm having this issue where I feel like my, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so this is the URL. My URLs, for some reason, have all this stuff at the end of it. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to use that. Show extra fields. The date was May 14th, 15th, 2020. Let's put a quote. That'll be fun. The archive date is going to be today because I'm about to archive it again right in front of you. And we're going to archive it by, again, you go up to uh, the Wayback Machine. I use this as in Google Chrome. So it does it really fast for me. And I'm going to copy the URL for that. Put it over here, Ar archive URL. If this is a book or if it was part of, and they had page numbers, I'd be able to put them here. I could put the location, the format. Uh, I don't need any of that. Let's put a quote because Hemet's got some good quotes in here. So let's go down here and we could do this whole quote. And let's just type and paste it in there. All right, so here's a preview. Ah, here's a problem. There's a there's a something wrong with a date. Check date values. Now, in the past, I've seen this happen. Where they give you issues with just stuff like this, like it, like it was all caps. And let's see if that fixes it. Yep, that's all the problem was is that it was it was all cap uh, for the month of May. These things, they can drive you to drink, I tell you. I mean, you could pull your hair out for some of these things that I'll spend an hour looking for something and all it is is an extra comma or it's extra forward slash, it shouldn't be there, or a dash, or it could be anything, which is another great reason why we have the secret cabal because if I'm having struggles with, with something and I cannot figure out the error, I'll just post it in the secret cabal and I'll say, hey, you guys, somebody figure this out. I'm going to go take a walk or I'm going to go to bed and – whatever and usually somebody figures it out within a couple minutes so this looks pretty good so let's insert it and let's preview and see what we got looks like a very long paragraph now doesn't it but it's not so uh, here's what we had before with the citation from the Seattle Times. According to the leader of the Satanic Temple, Lucian Greaves, and it is opening up to his Wikipedia page, if Mr. Shea, now remember I told you we're not allowed to use Mr. Shea, but because it's a quote from Lucian Greaves, who's notable, I can leave it in there. In fact, I have to leave it in there because it's, that's what he said. If Mr. Shea is so offended by a First Amendment guarantees that he finds it impossible to accept public religious expression that doesn't align with his own, comma, then I hope the people of Washington will demand his immediate resignation. Him at Meta, boom, it opens up correctly, 
agrees with Greaves and adds, if he cared about Washington more than himself, he would have resigned a long time ago. It's not too late. Citation 48. Here it is. And then here's that whole quote. Um, Washington lawmaker, friendly atheist, Pathios, archived from the original on this day, retrieved on this day. This brings to question, here's the whole thing that Lucius said. This is America, Mr. Shea, love it or leave it. So I think that quote, like I said, would have been way too long to be up here in this in this oil on Capitol Hill section, but it's fine for being in the notes, uh, the references. This is kind of a tricky thing. Um, one of my editors, Rob Palmer, was watching me edit the other day, and he says, why aren't you using the quote section? And I thought, I don't know why I'm not using the quote section. I haven't done it for years. But it makes a lot of sense. It, it's a nice way of adding something more to the article that you don't think you would have been able to get into the article, but yet it's still in a place where somebody who's curious enough may find that. It can look a little bulky, you know, compared to, it's, it's a pretty big quote, so I might wanna go in there and take out the part where I have already in here and put like dot, 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 but I'm not gonna bother because it's, it's okay. If it was a very tiny article with like five citations and then you had a quote this long in it, it would it would look bulky and odd. So added. I mean HTA, oh please, Susan. I'm gonna have to say this over and over to myself. Me HTA, okay. Added him at Metha with quote from G R E A V E S. Um, you guys are finding it. I'm the world's worst speller. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to come back and show you one more thing here. Publish changes. There it is. There it is. Perfect. So it looks like we made a lot of change when you look at the edit screen, but when you look at this, it's really just a few sentences more, especially since I took out a bunch. Here's something that I do. This is something you can tell it's a GSOW editor who's made the edit because we like the idea of making sure that our spokespeople are getting um, attention on pages that are like this, Mark Matt Shea's page, in the hopes that maybe somebody will find it, especially somebody who's in the media who may find it and be curious about who people are and interview them for some kind of article or for some kind of, put them on CNN or something. I can, I can help. So what we do, I teach my team, is down here in the citation, I make this part right here a hyperlink. And what that does is it means that it's just one more chance that a Wikipedia, um, that somebody might click on it and find him at Meta. See here, it is hyperlinked here already, but I'm gonna go down here and do this. This is a very little known um, tip I picked up years ago, and now it's part of the training to be a GSOW editor. It looks really scary, but it's really not. Once you break it down into little bites, like I'm doing, I'm gonna go down to the oil section again where we'd left all this. And I'm gonna find the citation that him it's quoted in. And it is right here. Reference name Meta 2020, site web, last one equals Meta slash first one equals him it. So I make my team practice this over and over. If the author of the citation has a Wikipedia page, then you we're gonna add an author link. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bar and then I'm gonna put author, lowercase, link, equals, H-E-M-A-N-T-M-E-H-T-A. And then here's the bar. So these things are all done with in between bar and a bar. See how there's a bar there and a bar there. I'm just inserting it. Let's go down and preview this before I make it live to make sure I don't make it embarrass myself, which happens every so often. And look, Citation 48 has a hyperlink to him its name. Clever, huh? She's a clever girl. Uh, 
added author link, publish. All right, so let's just quickly review for those who have, of us who've been paying attention. And I don't see anybody's over here on Facebook Live. They've probably all gone to somewhere else and they have fallen away. I'm talking to myself. So what else is new? So to be clear, I have added, I've taken away a little bit and I've added a little bit and I added, I put the article in the right place. The Seattle Times is now in the correct place. Uh, I didn't like the way that they had quoted and changed the quote. Um, it wasn't cited correctly. And then I added the Hemet Meta article and I cited that correctly and I put a link to olive oil and I put a link in here to Hemet and I put a link in here to Lucian and down here I've added some quotes that make the the article a little more interesting, I think, because we have some much more interesting quotes in there. And I put him at Meta's author link. And this is this is what GSOW does. It's called a backwards edit. A, uh, a backwards edit, let me flip this, uh, stop share. So a backwards edit is something that I guess I kind of invented whenever I was, you know, because I didn't know any better. So what I, most Wikipedia editors will start with a Wikipedia page they want to add a citation to, let's say Matt Shea, and then they would go and they would do a, a search trying to find something to put on Matt Shea's Wikipedia page. That's how a standard Wikipedia editor works. And, you know, that's how you would do it if you're writing a Wikipedia page. But what I've trained my staff to do is to spend like, you know, 15 minutes here and there. And if I hadn't been doing this in front of you guys where you can watch me do it and I'm breaking it down step by step by step, I would have had that done maybe in 10 minutes. It's really not hard once you have some experience. But I teach my team to stay um, on top of this by keeping your skills so that you can remember what to write instead of having to go look it up all the time. Because some of it's just memorization like author link equals that's all just something that you remember because you do it often. You have to practice this. So backwards edits are the way to do it. And you can take uh, um, what I do and what a lot of our team does is we find, like we'll take a magazine. This magazine, Skeptical Inquirer, has, uh, has um, journalistic integrity. It's a journal with an editor. So this, the articles inside here can be used as Wikipedia pages. Um, citations because they are um, they're notable themselves they are secondary sources in most cases like a book review if I haven't looked at this so let's look and see what's back here so somebody has used ah Joe Nickel wrote a, about the National Geographic magazine science and supernatural issue that they came out so I could go to the to the Wikipedia page for National Geographic and I could put a paragraph, a small paragraph um, about what Joe Nichols says in this article. So like I could just do that. I wasn't thinking of doing it because it wasn't on my mind to say, hey, let's let's see what National Geographic is doing these days. Let's look at their Wikipedia page. Let's improve it. No, I could <laughs> also have to. So I'm working backwards. I mean, I'm working from the opposite. I'm finding the citation and then figuring out where to put the citation. So we call it backwards editing. And it's just kind of a, like instead of playing solitaire or something, you could do a backwards edit and do it at lunchtime or something like 15 minutes a day. So these are edits that we make that we cannot track. There's no way we could, we could keep track of how many edits we do like we just did to the Matt Shea Wikipedia page. <sighs> that took me a long time to get through that. But like I said, I wanted to show you how to do it. I thought it was fun. It forces me to actually do the Wikipedia edit myself because I probably would give it to one of my team to do it. And there was a lot of things that were in that edit. You know, we learned how to do a lot of things, how to evaluate a source to make sure, make sure you check to, that the source that is there is the, what it should be. It says what it says. You know, you're not plagiarizing and so on. All right, I may or may not do more of these. I invite you to visit our YouTube channel. It's called About Time. 
and we just launched our YouTube channel and um, we're going to be um, hosting uh, talks probably every week. This is our first one's coming up on Friday the 22nd at 7, 11 o'clock in the morning. We were hoping that we'd be able to include a lot of people from um, the UK, which will be about seven or eight o'clock at night for them, as well as including people on the East Coast, because I'm in California, so Pacific Daylight Time. I will be, if you have people that you would like to have me um, also bring in and do talks or lectures or interviews, please let me know. Um, I'd be happy, if you think you'd like to be able to do it, bring it on. I mean, we, we have nothing but time on our hands now, it seems like. So goodbye to you all from Salinas, California.